Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ, I say a welcome to the day that is goodness together. Today I'm meditating upon, build a cur- culture of courage. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about in this topic. Psalm chapter 31 verse 24. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we have just read. The life of a great Christian leader teach us that those who follow a God calling need God-sized courage. Noah built the ark on a dry ground where there is no sign of water and spent 50 to 80 years of consistency to build the ark. Abraham left his home to journey to a place where he wasn't even sure existed and later he took his only son to be sacrificed. Moses overcame his speech impediment to lead the people of Israel to freedom. Joshua faced doubters who feared the promised land and was too difficult to conquer. Gideon led an army of only 300 to defeat an army of thousands. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and Esther displayed tremendous courage in the face of death. <clears throat> Nehemiah overcame fierce opposition to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem in 52 days. Jesus faced the cross and triumphed over death. Paul penned parts of the New Testament while nourishing wounds in prison, and nearly every apostle preached the gospel until being martyred. Courage is not an absence of fear, but rather the the commitment to overcome it. Courage doesn't mean you're not afraid. It means you battle against your fear and confront it. Courage pushes you to resist the impulse to shy away from the things that stir up your innermost anxieties. Courage is required and must be constant. It's tiny pieces of fear all glued together. If we want to be impetuous leaders, we must build a culture of courage in our followers, similar to what God has done in his disciples' lives. Here are some helpful tips for building a culture of courage. Set scary standards. Your level of acceptance. Excellence and expectation for your product or service or experience should almost be something that is nearly unattainable. Safe goals are set by safe leaders with safe visions. Give your people a goal that scares them, and you'll produce leaders who know what it means to overcome fear. Allow for failure. The road to success is many times put together through multiple failures. Allow for and even encourage your team to fail as they attempt to succeed. Reward innovation. Innovation requires taking risk, and bold risk requires creating a bold team members. Rewarding innovation will challenge your team to grow in their roles, pursue the right opportunities. Not every risk is a good one. Be disciplined. Aggressively persuade a few things that make sense. Say no often. Learn to delegate. This is one of the most courageous things a leader can do. Entrusting others with important tasks requires letting go and replenishing control. Liberally pass responsibility and authority to your team. If you want your team to be courageous, give them a chance to lead. So let's start our journey with the courage and build the country by our own example. This message also gives us a promise for day today. The promise is, Every place that sole of your foot will tread upon I have given to you, just as I promised to Moses. Let's close to our prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty wonderful God, Lord, thank you for all of the work you are doing in me. Lord, as I continue to live my life, I would like you to continue to lead me and use me to become impetuous leaders to lead people around me and living a life setting my standards upon your standards, looking towards you to help me when I fail. Discipline myself with the spirit of discernment, identifying and choosing right opportunities. Learn as I grow to help others before delegating and involving others to serve in the mission, encouraging them to be difference makers around our families, communities, and nations. I know and trust that whatever I ask in Jesus' holy name will be given to me. So I ask all this in Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen. Have a day, everyone. If God's going to talk to you tomorrow.